It's the 2001 Breeders' Crown Championship, three-year-old trotting fillies. And they're off. All eyes on Cyrinx Hennifer along the inside. She's left well and cleanly, but fastest of all is Yankee Fribble. Eddie Andura is let up out of there. Casamarine is off stride. Gypsy Balance is on a break and held out extremely wide to go on was Fun and Strokes. Yankee Fribble, Fun and Strokes. Eddie Andura at the inside third, and Cyrinx Hennifer is letting them settle from inside fourth. Racing back in fifth is Spellbound Hennifer into the first turn, and Vikings Goddess is sixth. A.B. Hennifer from seventh. True Diva is eighth. Second to last, Gypsy Balance held out wide and Casamarina landed back down trotting intense Yankee Fribble up front the opening corner was 27 and 4 that's Yankee Fribble in command by two on fun and strokes into the Woodbine backstretch in the Breeders Crown final two more lengths to Ariane Duera and Cy Rinks Hanover is considering coming out from fourth and Campbell is guiding her out it appears uh, no he's staying in line there surprisingly on the way to the half because nobody's coming in the outer flow at the inside is Spellbound Hanover from fifth Vikings got a sixth there goes Cyrinx Hennifer to the outside in the backfield. Along the inside was A.B. Hennifer from 7th, True Diva. Then second to last, Casamarina and Gypsy Balance. Cyrinx Hennifer making progress, but Yankee Fribble is the one. 57 and 1 the half. 29 and 2 second quarter. Yankee Fribble, the leader of length, has Cyrinx coming on the outside. Cyrinx Hennifer and Campbell now up to the saddle pad of Yankee Fribble. Back in the box at head stretch. Along the inside for a perfect pocket trip was fun and strokes all the way. They pass three quarters in 126 and 2 29 and 1 third quarter battle Yankee Fribble on the inside Cyrinx Hanover is asked to hit her best stride Campbell brings her to the front they're in the stretch now Cyrinx Hanover Campbell looking to become Harness Racing's first driver to surpass 200 million in life's earnings Cyrinx Hanover is the one that's carried him to the milestone Cyrinx Hanover an easy winner in the Breeders Crown over fun and strokes and true diva Cyrinx Hanover in 155 and 1. Two shot left. He has certainly earned that title, Ken, and I'll tell you what, it's a very special moment, I know, for you, John. $200 million in career earnings, and uh, I wonder if you've ever dreamed that you'd be able to achieve as much as you have in this sport. No, no, it's something I never dreamt of when I was growing up. Of course, the purses weren't like this, and you know, I grew up uh, hoping I could get horses good enough to come to the Ontario Jockey Club, so it's something I never even thought about when I was a kid. How special is it for you to be able to achieve this milestone here in Ontario? Oh, very special, especially the Breeders' Crown. I've, I've got a lot of history there, here, and, uh, you know, so it's, it means a lot to me. I, I didn't even know I was that close, so it, uh, it's pretty special. I just have to say hi to my dad watching back at home. He's recovering from surgery, and hi, and thanks, Dad. How much uh, of an influence has your father been throughout your career? Oh, tremendous. He taught me all the horsemanship that I still rely on today. Having a look at the stretch drive here with the uh, Cyrinx Hanover, and, and she just seems to be so automatic for you. Are you amazed when you get to sit in the sulky behind a horse of this caliber? Well, amazed, and I feel privileged to be able to drive her. She's just uh, very easy to drive, and uh, when you ask her to go, she does. She's very relaxed, and, and she makes my job so easy. Big, uh, big win for John Campbell, and the man that's responsible for training uh, Cyrinx Hanover, Chris Marino, joins me. Chris, does the word Cadillac uh, appropriately describe this horse? Definitely. She's like a dream come true. I mean, I never thought I'd have a horse anything close to her. She's just a real champion. At what point during her training did you realize you had something special? Um, around May of her two-year-old year training down, she started to show quite a bit. We just tried to manage her the right way all along, and uh, it really paid off. For her uh, to be challenged the way that she has and respond against this kind of competition, uh, what does that mean as far as her, her ability? It just proves that she's a champion, and I think she's, you know, really, really special. All right, Chris Marino is very happy with the performance from Cyrinx Hanover, and a terrific race here uh, with John Campbell picking up that milestone win.